So while your first decision is to <laughs> or burn the house down, <laughs> yeah, uh, you might want them to stick around. So says Dave, the garden yeah. guy is over at Arizona Game and Fish. Dave, are you crazy? <laughs> he must come be. on, man. <laughs> no, I'm not. And you know what, Scotty? I know you're arachnophobic, so this <laughs> is the show for me, buddy. And I want to show off oh, something boy. here. I'm with Amy Burnett and Amy is, oh, her, I guess, no. TPIO here at Game yeah. and Fish. And take a look at this guy. You've no. seen one of these before, haven't you, Scotty? No, I want nothing to do with that. <laughs> what does he think? Hey, hey, Amy, tell us what this, what we're looking at here. This is a tarantula. desert blonde tarantula. Oh, this is Hermione. Do you want to hold this one? Hermione, yeah, okay. Hermione. Okay, I want to just prove to everybody that I can actually do this. Now, he's awesome. on my glove friend, glove dam, but he will crawl up my arm right there and they're really beneficial out yes. here in the desert aren't they this one is a girl and she's going to live a lot longer than the boys i've had her for about five years she's from fountain hills okay and they are fairly fragile so you don't want to drop these don't guys, want to right? drop them nope, okay not and enough. not necessarily keeping as pets they, like i said they are oh they're screaming in my ear right now but they are tell us why they're beneficial here in the so desert they're a predator that eats other bugs so a okay. lot of the bugs that I'm going to show you are, are other bugs predators. So they're okay. going to get rid of all those other things that you don't want in your desert, in your garden. So definitely do not kill this guy. Tell us a little bit about the hairs on this so guy. So the little hairs, these are little like fiberglass shards. And so if they flick those onto you, you're going to, you don't want to get them in your eyes because they can irritate. Kind of a, like a porcupine kind of almost. Yes, yeah, but okay. really, really, really sharp. So if you're a, like a coyote, they're going to... Flick them in yep. your eye, and it's gonna be like, blah, 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 okay. and then it's gonna run away. Okay, so we gotta put this guy away right. because we got about two minutes. And we got lots to we show you another, here because these are all guys you're gonna run. Now I want to show this guy, and this is yeah. one of my my favorites. And this, believe it or not, is highly beneficial, isn't it? Yes. So this is a this is another predator of insects. So. Sorry, Can you he's, get him? he's a little he's a little camera shy. Yeah, he is a little bit camera shy. This is what we call a giant hairy this scorpion. This is a giant desert hairy scorpion. Okay. And he, see how he has that nice big stinger, nice that big those big claws. Highly beneficial again. So this one's going to eat just about anything that it can get a hold of. And you're going to find these bugs. primarily outside. You're not going to find these inside like our bark scorpions. You is could that find them inside your house. We have over 30 different kinds of scorpions in Arizona, so it's not the little ones that have the big stings. It just happens to be what species you have. Okay. So I'm and not going to handle. Let's hold that the, and let's show bark, this guy because wait, this, this is, is the bark well, scorpion. Well, here's the right one here. that's a really bad guy, and this is what we call bark scorpion, right? Now this one, right here. you don't want to handle this one. This is the bark scorpion. This is the only one that's medically dangerous that we have in Arizona. And you find these in your find home. Find those in your home. It's the only one that can climb walls. Okay. So, so if you see this, so if you see something that's climbing a wall, that's a bark scorpion. Look at how thin how thin his pinchers are. That's yeah. how you know he's a bark scorpion. So this is a guy you don't want in your home. All the rest of them pretty much are all beneficial. All the other ones are beneficials. Yep. And this one I would just catch and let go. I don't actually. Yeah, we don't any move of them. a lot of stuff. And we're going to talk me. about that in our next yeah. segment with snakes. And, and here's course, another one. Okay, let's see um, what you got. Another one that's beneficial is a millipede. Okay, and, here it is right here. And this you know, is a centipede. And and, this is a millipede. Okay. And they eat detritus. So they're going to eat the dead stuff that's around. Okay. And they just spit out, like, stuff on your hands. If, but, and that's their defense mechanism. Uh, Other and, than, than that, they're not going to hurt Scott, you. Scott and Yetta, I want to show you one more. And it looks like you're going to find this around your home. And again, this guy's highly beneficial. And this is what we call... This is a vinegaroon. Vinegaroon. And the reason they're called vinegaroon is, is because they squirt out this oh. vinegar-like substance. It's Come like, on, oh, acid. It's gosh. acetic it's acid, like 5%. <laughs> oh, it's not going to hurt you, but those, um, you see those big pinchers. <laughs> All this guy can do is pinch. It is amazing, and he is huge, I will tell you. Yeah, Scotty, so there you go, no, dude. I no. don't Sorry, want Scott. you killing anything around your home. No, I can't do yeah, it. Yeah, no, you are not killing anything no. else around your home. The I, only I, thing you need to worry about is those bark scorpions, like Amy said. Yeah. You're going to just move it. Yeah, well, it. you're smart. You come on, on, Scott. Help was, me out here. I was just telling you that a wolf spider crawled across my hand the other day, and I almost died. Just from seeing it. There you go, dude. I'm going to prove it to you. I'm not afraid of them. Okay. Right. There you are. It's awesome. <laughs> Highly awesome. beneficial. Yeah. Hey, when we get back, we're going to talk a lot about snakes and some other things you're going to find around your home, too, and what to do and what not to do with them. Right. So we'll be back about 9 Snakes Dave? don't bother me. It's just Okay, the there bugs you go, like guys. That. Nah. Oh, gosh. Did we freak out? Oh, you I, shaking I, a little bit, Dave. You yeah. are shaking. <laughs> yeah. I, that at your I was age. not shaking. <laughs> They're thinking I'm shaking. No, you were shaking. <laughs> no, no. Don't worry about it. This guy grew up sleeping in the desert, so he doesn't worry about nothing. 
Oh, you know, here in Arizona, we often think about snakes. It usually is followed with the sound of a, a rattle. Rattlesnakes definitely not something you want to mess with, but uh, they do have a way of getting into areas around your yard anyway. So is there any way to keep them away? Dave, you know, I don't want to see any kind of slithering anything. <laughs> so uh, what do we do? You know what? I can agree with you. You know, one thing about rattlesnakes is they have a tendency to be all over the place. But first off, I want to show off the Arizona Game Fish Trophy Room here. We happen to come in here with Amy, who we're going to talk to in a few seconds. But you can see just how many animals actually live in Arizona. And it is amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about these rattlesnakes. So come on out here and we'll take a look at some rattlesnakes that they've got here at this office and these rattlesnakes like we said earlier are very prevalent here in the state of arizona i'm with amy amy burnett with fishing game and amy you got something right on top here yes what are you looking at right <laughs> this there this is a gopher snake is our largest snake in the vet that you've seen in arizona it can get up to seven feet long and highly beneficial right yes absolutely so yes yeah, someone tells you that they saw a seven foot rattlesnake either they saw one of these or they're just not a really good judge of size well something you don't want to be handling out here in arizona is of course these different types of rattlesnakes and we're looking at one here arizona black rattlesnake tell us a little bit about this guy so this is a more high elevation rattlesnake and they look just like the road when you come upon them so just be real careful when you drive in that area they're just beautiful Beautiful, beautiful black. And then here we have some speckled rattlesnakes, three different color phases of the same type of rattlesnake. And you told me that they liked it, like this one likes to hang Isn't around quartz. Beautiful, quartz, right? yeah. Like if you're in the area with lots of quartz, look how this guy could just blend beautiful, in. Beautiful. Looks beautiful. like a granite countertop. Right? Now, we, we look at these snakes and we think, oh, we don't want them around, but we do want them around because, we again, we yes. talked about the beneficial aspects. So think right? about, like, what do, think about what rodents carry. They carry lots of disease. And if we didn't have rattlesnakes to get rid of those rodents, some of these rattlesnakes are really specialized. These areas, there may not be other snakes in those areas. And snore yeah, and sidewinder. Snore and sidewinder. You'll find those in washes and sandy areas. Look at those cute little, so little eyebrows on them, right? So we only 30 seconds here. Tell us how to exclude these from around our homes. You want to make sure that you use a uh, quarter inch hardware mesh or hardware cloth and put them in, put it in like up to 36 inches. You want to make sure your RV gates are no gaps below them. Uh, most people don't ha have little places where they can go in. And if that you just have this hardware cloth and exclude them, then you can have some peace of mind. And of course, water is a big factor. And right? you don't want to have water that's destroying them in to your yard. So, so exclusion barriers, the yeah. hardware cloth, no water. Yeah. Last but not least, a Western Rattle or Western Diamondback. This is one you see. In fact, take a look at that. And you can hear him at the same yeah, time. He's a little awesome. bit upset. April, I don't know if you've seen some of these guys around, but now, Amy was telling me that these uh -huh. guys will get in the actual Phoenix area. So something oh. you want to consider when you're out there, mm -hmm. just moving around throughout your landscape. Make sure you don't want to put your hand now in this, the wrong and remember, location. Travel cage. This is not his real cage. <laughs> oh, no. There yeah, you no, go. Thank you. April?